Hello everyone, happy to see you here and really interesting exponential equation. This is Olympiad exponential equation and I, love, I see a lot of this question in entrance ex examination, so I hope you will enjoy this video. So first of all, we have all different bases, 3, 9, 27, all bases are different, we have a lot of exponent and it looks like a little bit complicated problem. But if you look a little bit closer to this, we'll have like 3, this is good, and 9, this is really good number to 3 because we can express this 9 as 3 square yeah we can easily express this as 3 square and 27 this is really good number to 3 because we can express this as 3 cube yeah because 3 times 3 times 3 equal to 27 3 square equal to 9 and let's let's write all the left thing so right here we need raises to the x equal to 14 right here we will have all raised to the power x and 3 to the x so still the same yep so we have this we have this step right now Okay, I hope you understand this step. And we need to know a really good power rule. Because if you know this rule, this question is really easy for you because a to the power x raised to the power b, we can write it as, as a to the power x times b. This is the first step, but this rule have a really interesting continuum because we can write it as a to the power b raised to the power x. Yeah, so we can write it in this way. So this rule called the rule of interchange, so we can easily change these two powers because of a product. So product x times b equal to b times x, so we can easily change these, these variables right here. And let's apply this rule in our case. We don't need to apply this rule right here, so 3 to the power x still the same, and plus 3 to the power 2 raised to the power x. So this is our situation. We can easily write it as 3 to the power x raised to the second power, yeah? And plus the same thing, 3 to the power x cube, yeah? So I hope you understand this step. This is a really important step in our, in our question. Okay, if we look to this question right now, we have like 3 to the x, we have 3 to the x and 3 to the x. So it looks like all variables are the same, all expressions are the same. So we can easily work with substitution right here. So let, let 3 to the x equal to, for example, let's go with t, yeah? So what equation we have right now? We have like t plus t square and plus t cube, yeah? Equal to, equal to 14, yeah? We have this expression. And right now it's really interesting because if we change an order a little bit, so if we go with t cube at first, so our classic order, t cube plus t square plus t, and we bring this 14 to the left-hand side from the right one, we have minus 14 equal to 0. And it's our cube equation. So our question go with cube equation, and we need to we need to solve it, find our t, and bring this to this substitution. Okay, there are a lot of approaches. How can we solve these cube equations? A lot of students solve it in their own way, their formulas. I want to show you my really interesting approach, because if we go with factors, let's find the factors factors right here. So what the factors of this 14, of course, yeah? So we know plus minus one, real obvious one, plus minus two, obvious one, plus minus seven we have, and we have plus minus 14, yeah? So we have like eight factors. So I don't want to, ch to, to choose all of this, I go with only positive one. Let's start with positive one. So let's go with one, for example, one, one, one cube, plus 1 square, plus 1, minus 14. And I see right now that this is not equal to 0, so we reject this one. Let's go with minus 1 real quick. It will be the same situation. Minus 1, plus 1, plus or minus 1 right here. Doesn't matter. This not looks like equal to 0, so we reject minus 1. Let's go with 2. We will have like 2 cube, plus 2 square, plus 2, minus 14, okay? 8 plus 4 plus 2 minus 14, yeah? So 12 plus 2, 14 minus 14 equal to 0. So t equal to 2, this is our factor. So we can easily write it as a product of t, t minus 2 and times the second parenthesis. I don't know exactly the value of this parenthesis, but right now we're going to find it. So we find that t minus 2 is a factor. This is really great. We find our factor, t minus 2, and we need to find another parenthesis right here. There are a lot of approaches. How can we do this? We can divide this expression by t minus 2, but I want to show you a really interesting, tricky approach right now. In our head, we need to factor t minus 2. 
And right here we have this expression. I write it once more. So t cubed plus t square plus t and minus 14. And I'm going to rewrite it, this expression in another way. Take a look. Really interesting, tricky moment. I write it as t cubed minus 2t square plus 3t square minus 6t plus 6t plus t and minus 14. So take a look what I do. This is equal to t square, yeah? So 3t square minus 2t square, this is t square. So the same, t cube, t square, right here, 6t plus minus 6t, we can easily cancel. We have like the same t right here. So this is our same expression as in the beginning. But with one really interesting moment, if I group these elements by 2, so in pairs, so if I group the first one, t cube minus 2t square, so I group this, then plus then 3t square, so this one and this one, minus 60, then plus, right here we will have like 70, so plus 70 minus 14 equal to 0. So I group these elements in parentheses, yeah? So we have all add right here, we have all addition, so we can do this easily, okay? Okay, and right now, t, t cubed minus 2t square, let's factor t square right here, so t square, we will have like t minus 2. Right here, factor 3t. We will have t minus 2 in parentheses. And in the last one, let's factor 7. If we factor 7, we will have t minus 2 equal to 0. So this is a trick I'm going to show you because we have right here t minus 2, t minus 2, and t minus 2. So we can easily factor this t minus 2, t minus 2. And in parentheses, we'll have t square plus 3t plus 7 equal to 0. A lot of students, all in, in another way, they divide this expression by t minus 2. But this is maybe, for me, it's, it's like more complicated. I think this tricky approach, this really, it's really good in our case. Okay, we factor it, t minus 2 times this parentheses, so a product equal to 0 when of the first one, t minus 2 equal to 0, or this t square plus 3t plus 7 equal to 0, yeah? And I'm going to start with, with the discriminant right here, because if we start with discriminant, we have like 3 square, so 9 minus 4 times 7, 28. And this discriminant is negative 1. So we can easily say that t second and t third is a complex, complex, complex roots. And moreover, when t is a complex, then our x second and x third is our complex root, yeah? And let's go right here, t minus 2 equal to 0, then t equal to 2, and we had a substitution, 3 to the x equal to t, so 3 to the x equal to 2, and from here, log on both sides, we will have that our x first equal to log 2 base of 3, yeah? This expression. So I write an answer right here, so answer, if you're interested in complex numbers, so I start with real one, x first equal to log 2 base of 3. And if you're interested in complex numbers, so x second and x third is a complex, complex, complex numbers. Complex numbers, yeah? So this is our solution to this problem, yeah? I hope you understand this explanation. We find our real number root real quick. So x first equal to log 3, log 2 base of 3. And we have two complex roots. How can we find this complex root? Right here we will have like uh, expression with i and with square root. And you bring this to this substitution. And it looks like log but a, a, a much more complicated than this one. Because we have like i, we have square root and we have like 3 to the x on the left. This is not like a x equal to uh, 2 times this one, yeah? So this is a little bit complicated question. There are a lot of approaches about this uh, solving this cube equation. I show you this one. This is really interesting and maybe for me it's easier than dividing this expression by t minus 2. This is a little bit easier for me because if you do this tricky step right here and in your head you you know that you want to factor t minus 2, then you go, okay, I need to factor t minus 2 right here, and I have t cube and t square, yeah? If I write this t square as minus 2t square plus 3t square and group this first element, I have this t minus 2, which is really good. 
and write here 3 t square and you know that you need to factor t minus 2. Then you need to write it as minus 6 t and you need to add it because nothing changed because this is you, you cannot like add what you want. Yeah, you need to if you add it, you need to subtract it. If you subtract it, you need to add it. Yeah. So with this second element, you can easily factor t minus 2. This is my approach. Thank you for your support, for your watching. I really appreciate it. Write your question and comment about this question. If you have the faster method, how can we solve it? It will be really interesting to read about it. And thank you for watching. See you in the next videos.